Good morning. Well, it's good morning here. Um, I wanted to come to you today and do a little catch up. I know that we had yesterday where I introduced myself again and we talked a little bit. And this morning, I have a couple of things I wanted to share with you. Uh, one of them is this. It's called Nutra Champs B Complex. It's a, a just a B complex vitamin. It's got all the B vitamins in it and it's liquid. And it's raspberry flavored, but it's keto friendly. So it's, it says it's a full spectrum vitamin B blend and it tastes good and it, and it doesn't have sugar in it and I can have it and I feel better. I've had it the last few days and I noticed that my energy is up. So you might want to try a B complex and I actually like this liquid better. I feel like it goes throughout my body like it should, whereas a capsule or a, a tablet has to break down before I can use it. So I like this. And also, you know, I love books. I told you I did. I've got this Keto Clarity book, Low Carb, by Jimmy Moore, and it's with Eric Westman. And if you'll remember yesterday, we looked at the new, newest Adkins book, um, and it was by, also had Dr. Westman as one of the authors. So he's pretty good. Um, but what I like about this book so far, I've only read a little bit, is chapter two. The title says, What Makes Keto Different from the Atkins Diet? I can't wait to read that. That's going to be my next um, chapter that, that I go to. But I wanted to share with you because it's a, it's a good book. Um, what else? I am down 1.6 pounds in two days doing the keto protocol. And I've enjoyed it, to be honest. I mean, it's kind of a headache having to watch my carbs and not just pop trail mix in my mouth or a piece of gum or uh, go to Sonic and have, you know, a drink that I want with sugar in it. I realized, though, what a sugar-aholic I was. Everything I, everything I ate had sugar in it almost. So this is really good for me and I'm feeling much better. Um, just over the last few days, I've, a couple days, I've been, I'm feeling much better. More energy, better mood. Um, what else? Oh, I wanted to tell you, if you look back over my old videos f from about four years ago when I was on Weight Watchers, I looked a little bit fatter around the face. Well, I've lost 43 pounds and last year I did in about seven months. And I did it with Manjaro, the little, it looks like an EpiPen, but it's a shot that you take. You, I took mine in my thighs, um, my thigh, and it's once a week. And it's supposed to be for diabetics, which is me. But I used it for weight loss and it worked for both. And I was losing weight like crazy, but I was still eating the same stuff. So it wasn't really teaching me anything new. I would eat pizza, pasta, burgers, you know, the same stuff that everybody eats, but it was all full of sugars and carbs. And whenever the side effects that I was having from the Manjaro, that's why I lost all that weight was side effects. They were bad side effects. Um, vomiting each day, I wasn't real super like nauseated or anything, but I would just I'd not be able to keep down my my meal. So, and then I'd be fine. Um, diarrhea probably each day or every other day. Um, and we're talking about strong side effects. I was tired. Um, I didn't feel very good. But I was determined to stay on that medicine because my pounds were falling off. Okay, so since I've lost the 43 on Manjaro, I started trying after that to, I stayed on Manjaro just for the help it was giving me with my blood sugar. But um, I did notice I was counting calories and, um, sorry, counting calories and fasting, like I told you already. And um, that did nothing for me. I did that for eight months up until now 
and it did nothing. I stayed the same exactly. Um, I was I was eating normally. I was snacking. I did make a few improvements to my diet, but I still maintained. My body is so good at maintaining its weight. So I'm just hoping to lose a bunch. Then I can maintain it a good weight. But um, that's about the Manjaro. I wanted to tell you about that. Uh, I wanted to tell you about the book and the vitamin Bs. And so really all I'm doing is I'm staying 20 carbs or fewer every day. And I'm not counting calories. I'm just eating meats and veggies and some high fat dairy or regular fat dairy and some fats. Um, and it's just so nice because I can add a little bit of butter to my broccoli. I can add, a, you know, a little season, all kinds of seasonings to my steaks. Um, I don't know. Last night we had tuna salad and it's nice because I got to divide it between my husband and me in two different bowls. It was not, it was not hard. He had apple and miracle whip and pecans in his and I had chopped me some cucumber and celery and radish in mine. So it was just an, a couple extra chops and, and then I put real mayonnaise in mine so that it's all fewer um, carbs. And so he loved it. He thought it was great and I liked mine and I served it with some uh, celery sticks. So it was yummy. And then he had corn on the cob with his, with butter, and I didn't. And so he got everything he wanted to eat and I did too. And I cooked, the, I did together. I cooked, you know, made them together. So you can do it. You just have to plan ahead. I've noticed when I plan ahead and I see what I'm going to have, it makes 100% of the difference. If I don't plan ahead, I'll, I will go over on my carbs and I won't lose weight. So that's imp very important if you try this. But if you do go keto, I hope you'll let me know, or low carb, I hope you'll let me know in, uh, in the comments below. And just share with me what you're doing, how long you've been doing it, everything. That'd be great. And um, subscribe, because I'm going to be coming back every other day, maybe. I don't know. Probably every other day. And I'm going to share books and, and foods and different things I'm taking to feel better. Um, just everything. Everything is going to... I'm going to share with you everything. So, I think that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to go get me some uh, calorie-free soda, peach soda stuff. I'm going to make it. So uh, I guess I will talk to you guys tomorrow or the next day. I hope you have a good day. Bye.